All right, I think we're up and rolling here. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, sorry for the slight delay. Uh, Ethan was a little late getting in from uh, from L.A., but uh, great to see you, my man. It's How you be, been? Good to be here. Good Christmas? I did. I had uh, I had the family over uh, Christmas Eve. So we did the Christmas Eve thing, and, uh, you know, we had a good turnout. Nice. Nice little dinner and a little el white elephant, you know, the traditional type of thing. So yeah. With, with having such a big family, right? So... Can't get everybody presents or break, <laughs> break the bank. Well, I guess I should back up here. I'm Darren Goodwin, uh, Norwich president, uh, here with Ethan Chavera. You probably, I'm sure you know him. The guy's a legend. Uh, you've been dominating the game for about 15 years, I would say. Maybe. I would, I would say dominating consistently. But uh, yeah, I took a little break. But before, you know, 2006 era when we won our first Narch. Um, that's when the boys were ready and going hard. That, so we that were, picture I put up today, that yeah, was from oh, that tournament. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's when the boys were, didn't even know what a job was. Our job was just to go play hockey and and try to just, you know, critique our game as, as best as possible because every Narch tournament was a Super Bowl for us. Yeah. Right? So that was like, man, this is it. We're playing against these East Coast teams, New York, Mudcats, I mean, you name it. Um, even back then, K-Tech, right, and, and Rink Rat. So uh, those were the teams that uh, those were the teams to beat because uh, most of them were ice hockey players and and you were just a punk eighteen year old kid at that point at a, <laughs> at a, at a buck thirty buck forty yeah I you know some of my uh, my first memories of you um, I remember you in 04 on that I think it was a Bantam team when you lost to uh, Tour eighty sevens I think it was uh, where was that Bantam. in uh, that was in Cincinnati Cincinnati yeah, uh, it was with Montero's brothers and uh, yeah. And then um, the next year, I remember you at the regional qualifier. That's when we came out with the, that NHL Junior All Stars, and I think you were uh, you're like uh, again, kind of a kind of a punk punk kid. You're like, man, I don't want to wear this polo shirt. I don't know if you remember that. You were well, well, <laughs> well hockey never had style back in the day, and they're still catching up now. Like if you look at the NHL, um, when the teams win the Stanley Cup, they got that big Stanley Cup on the hat. I mean, th there's no style. There was no style back then, and now it's catching on, right? Because all the all these uh, all the Instagrams and everybody's uh, promoting and stuff, and everybody's kind of copying each other, if you, if you look at it. But yeah, there's that was like I was like I was like a, that was like a corporate that was like a corporate yeah. office yeah. shirt. You know anything, what? Right? You're right, but I I mean that was kind of the you know what we were were looking to do is make sure everyone was. You know, had the same look and it all looked consistent on our website at the time. Of course, of course. Like that. that uniform professional look that uh, Nar Narch always brings to the table, right? Yeah. You guys haven't changed your wardrobe since. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Since yes, we got... have. Yes, we have. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm dressed down a little bit today, waiting for you. I was yeah. freezing at that train station. But, look at uh, me. I kind of look like a Narch employee. Right? right? See? Just see? missing the Narch yeah. hat, right? We're a little ro roll reversal here. There it is. So um, what we're going to do here today, and part of the reason we thought about this format is I've got, uh, as, as many of you know that, that follow us on social media, we've got all kinds of uh, content to share. And um, to be frank, I just went through a couple hard drives and pulled some stuff, and it's really random stuff that I pulled. Most of it is, is videos that we've already put together. Some of it's probably just... Uh, you know, little one-off clips and stuff like that. So, you know, the bulk of what we're going to do today is, is Ethan and I are just going to, we're going to roll some clips and hopefully some of you guys that are watching are in some of them. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it a little bit. Should be yeah, should be kind of fun. Talk about the sport, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, backing up one more thing to 06. 06, for me, watching you, that was really your coming out party. I don't know if you remember this, and, and I, I get my... Uh, Facts may be a little bit mixed up, but here's what I remember is you were playing three or four divisions that tournament. Four. Yeah, you were playing your second year 18U, and you are right. playing junior, D1, and pro. Right. And it was either junior or midget. Um, you had just scored a game winner for whatever team on the arena. Went over to the middle rink, played the next game. You were short. You were down, I want to say, I two men. This. Yeah, two men. Two men. We were and, short. and you were down two goals. I think you're down two goals, or you're down one goal, and you scored two shorthanded two goals. goals. Yeah. And and uh, yeah, I was watching that. I'm going, holy! And it was a great team. You're playing one of the best Canadian teams. All they had to do was, you know, just just let the game run out. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. It. And uh, you took matters into your own hands. I'm like, man, this kid's something special. Well, that was uh, that was something special for me as well, because 
again, I wanted to win all four divisions, right? That would have just been the most epic thing ever. But um, losing in the championship in juniors, we only had six players, by the way, six or seven. One of our players, uh, uh, Matt White, um, he had a D1 game or something like that. So he didn't even make the, the championship game, which that kind of hurt us. Yeah. We had a chance to win that. I uh, gave a backdoor pass to Junior. Wide open net. Goalie's out of, his, out of his net. Junior shoots between the net and the goalie right through the crease. Wide open, and then Garst comes down and scores, right? Uh, so we lose Juniors, lose D1. Uh, yeah, Garsh, that was one. He danced a few guys, came down. And, and went five hole. Yeah, I was on, I was on yeah. the bench for that. And uh, I remember I got a clip of the video, a video clip, and uh, all the guys kind of going nuts. It was good. Uh, we had a good group of guys, you know. That's sort of the fun part about it was. Yeah. Um, it was just a good, fun uh, team to, you know, to compete. But, you know, losing juniors, losing D1, um, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it all made up winning the pro title. That's what I'm coming down to. Yeah, it was huge. And that was just, that was just insane. And Michael scoring the game winner. Come and on. You know, you yeah. can't get better. You yeah, can't get better you, can't, you can't write that script. Um, like, but, what, what is he doing out there? Of course, he's out there blocking shots because they're just maniacs and, you know, the best PK I've, I've yeah, seen Yeah, you just killed the penalty. They just yeah. killed the penalty. Jerry comes out, um, and just a two-on-one. You know, you don't know what to expect with uh, with Mike. You don't know if it's gonna go top shelf or just hit the net, right? Yeah. So. Or go three feet wide. Or go three feet wide. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. And so, uh, yeah, yeah that, that was a great experience. You know, unfortunately, we uh, we couldn't win a couple more titles after that. We were kind of like the winter national um, champions of you know throughout the throughout the years because you won a big one in Arizona I remember that one big one in Arizona Uh, Rudy jumped on the rink and was going nuts yeah I missed a couple too I was I was playing ice uh, overseas and stuff so there's a couple that I didn't uh, I can't take credit for Mm -hmm. but again uh, you know we had I think one time we went you know jumping around I think we had like 15 or 16 guys on the bench you know yeah Rob loved having extra guys just in case uh just in case, you know. And he maybe. still does it in like 35, 40 and over. He tries to like, load up the bench. He for, tries just to it load. makes sense, though. I mean, especially when sure. you get our age. It's like you need, you need the legs. You, you know, you want to load up the bench and, and uh, take all the competition so you don't have to play against them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll leave that one alone. Uh, I'll talk to Rob about it. I think I'm going to meet up with him actually on Sunday. That's so good. Yeah. it's nice to see, see people over the holidays and uh, need to catch up with him. So, um,. Yeah, I don't know, man. Anything you want to touch on before we jump into a couple of these videos? Um, we'll just talk as yeah, we go. We'll just talk as we go. Wing yeah. it. We'll Absolutely. wing it. All right. So let's see. I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested to see who's uh, who's who's viewing us right now from the Instagram, guys. If uh, if this is not good enough, go check out YouTube. I know uh, Darren's trying to promote the the YouTube live channel. So, all right, here we go. One of my favorite places, that's for sure. Jermaine, I think this is uh, 05, I remember right? Yeah, you guys played in that championship that year, right? You guys lost to Black Ice? We did lose to Black Ice. Yeah. Let's try to get some music on the background, too. Give me one second. We'll get something dialed in. Can they see this? Yeah. So what they're seeing here is us small, and uh, everyone's big on the... Everybody go on uh, YouTube, because you can see a little bit more than what you can just see my face here. The, uh, and hopefully, so here's where, I love YouTube, but here's where they kind of suck, like, in terms of music. We'll play, we'll play footage, or, uh, we'll do the live streaming, and because music is played, uh, from the penalty box, or from the scorekeeper, they'll, they'll mute it. So Jeremy will be doing, like, a full play-by-play, and it gets muted out because of a song they play during an intermission or something. Ah, turn that thing off. Yeah, go to YouTube, go to YouTube. Check right. out YouTube, guys. So let me let me get this going. See if we can get some music in. Just a little background here. And hopefully, YouTube doesn't uh, pick some obscure stuff. So hopefully, it'll, uh, it'll work out. All right. So you watching all this? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is uh. Bad Apples had a couple nice goals that tournament. I remember. Let's see how volume is here. This is, is this the first year you split up the Winter Nationals and East Coast uh, na- Nationals, right? Finals? Finals, um, right, right, right. This was 15? Yeah, I think it was. This uh, band's called Freedom Hawk, by the way, if anyone's interested. <laughs> Sounds hmm. like Ozzy. It does, that's it what's does. cool about them. 
Yeah, this is the year when everybody was like, what's going on? Why is there two east? Well, why is there an east and why is there a west? Wow. Uh, you yeah. know, and then everybody's like, well, they're, they're not a true east champion. Uh, you know, they, they're, everybody thought, you know, west coast is always the best, but... Uh, <laughs> that, that, uh, West Coast biased here. Yeah, you exactly ask anyone right. on the East Coast, they just say the exact same thing for right. East Coast. They're just, you know, just the competition-wise. You know, there wasn't, there was more teams in the West Coast this year. But um, again, any Narch event you play, doesn't matter who you play. If you're on the main stage, the big ring. Yeah, oh, that's so dirty. Huh? Look at that. yeah, there's some good ones there's here. Some vision there. It's so it's so funny. I it's feel like the ice hockey players do make fun of us so well because it's always a two on one. Who's that guy? <laughs> Head down. <laughs> hey, you see uh, more people are wearing cages in the state now that they're getting older. Yeah, I, I, I do. Travis Snow has a he has a cage on right now. Well, he's he's you know he's, he's making a, big bucks. He right. can't show up with a black guy and uh, uh, close an account on. <laughs> Try to sell some wine with a yeah. missing tooth. What do we got here? It's another, it looks like this is skills competition from that same year. Oh, there you are. You oh, remember there's that? The, there's the bear. Little Larry. <laughs> I miss that guy, man. I do too. But he's doing his thing. He's killing it. Shout out to Larry. He's, the, uh, he's working for New York, uh, New York Yankees. Yeah, I see his stuff on uh, his, in fact, I was checking out his Instagram story today. He's always behind the scenes working guys out. What is this, man? Mm -hmm. just, this is just, this is loony right there. I mean, uh, just the standard. You know what I? You know I did that move. The goalie had no idea I was doing that. I never shot against him before, so you always got to go against a goalie that doesn't know what to expect, right? By the way, I know uh, you're big into. We're, we're having a couple coffees here. If it were another year, we'd probably drink beers about this time. But uh, <laughs> turned over a new leaf. Proud of you. You uh, yeah. in the um, coffee business. Yeah, so uh, three months clean, no drinking. Nice. Uh, and it's a, it's a good thing right now. Uh, substituted to it with another addiction was uh, coffee. Caffeine? So, yeah. yeah. Caffeine is the way uh, I got, got my life going right now. And just checking out new coffee shops and new types of beans. They're, they're just, it's just like beer, right? There's so many selections of different IPAs you can try, right? Everybody's yeah. making IPAs just like that in coffee, so yeah. And this is great. You know who I just started following uh, on Instagram? Shootout Ideas. Yeah. And they just basically have shootouts from every league possible. I'll give, them a, give them a look. They're not too bad. Oh, oh there it is. Roll. There's Darren's ferret look when it, when the players wear shorts. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Sorry, guys. It's just not. Do it at the beach. Don't do it in my tournament. I mean, look at look at his legs. Oh, chicken legs. Yeah, come oh. on, come on, Derek. Is that Chris Street? Where's Chris Street at these days? I don't know. I don't know. I hope he's doing well. Yeah, hopefully he's doing well. He's one of those guys that really loves the sport. Just kind of. Got in over his head a little bit with some things. Huh? Well, he looked at the sport a lot bigger than it was, right? Well, he, he tried to do a lot of things for a lot of people, and I think he got, you know, taken advantage of a little, too. Yeah, that's so. true. All right, I don't know where we're going next here. Hopefully it's something uh, something out of a yeah, different, different year, because this is all... Poor goalies, man. Oh, yeah. yeah this, poor goalies. He made some good saves in this, though. What, what can he do as a goalie? Just stand there. Look, he's not even moving. Just hoping it hits him. Look at this. Oh, Kevin. There's a save. That's okay. a sick one. All right, let's go to the next video, see what we got. That's the great thing about skills, right? Anybody can win. Anybody can win. <laughs> uh, not being mean, guys. It's just that's how it is. I remember uh, one year, Bobby Ryan went went first. He was the first one out. First one out. Yeah, it happens. All right. So this uh, this looks like just some regional footage here. What do we got? Where are we at? Oh, all right. Oh, Parker. It's a great shot. Long Island. Midget magic there. Let's 
Temecula Valley Warriors. That was quick. Oh, this was sick. Remember this? This summer? Anytime you can watch John John. <laughs> this guy is just a magician. I talked to him, uh, well, we went back and forth on text a couple days ago. Sounds like he's doing great. Yeah, he's doing good. He's doing the whole workout, staying clean. Um, I'm just trying to move up the ladder. It's just the stuff, where did I even go? I, I, yeah, I threw that up on Instagram this summer. I got it. Like there's a lock trend. Yeah, good job. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at this. And this kid does S it standard three four angles. He does it with barely any tape on his on his stick. You know, now nowadays all the kids have the tacky mac, the blade tape, oh, which I you know. This, I love. this is a pretty cool moment. Uh, so the Palma girls won both finals. They won the West Coast here, and then they won the East Coast. Both games were uh, overtime game winners, which is pretty cool. They went with a uh, skeleton crew to Alpharetta, though. Ah, regional stuff. Nice back check, Griffin, buddy. Come on now. <laughs> you know him? You know that yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good kid. He's a good kid. I think he's coming to West Coast, uh, winter, winter, uh, West Coast Winter Nationals. I think he's coming to Winter Nationals. So this was the... Uh, Qualifier in uh, Illinois. Farm Tough took a bunch of teams, did pretty well. Like I said, all these clips it, are just, I just threw them, I took them off hard drive and just like randomness. Yeah, so, random, yeah, okay. got a little bit of everything. So, let's talk. Let's talk about uh, Narch coming up. Or, uh, Winter, Winter Nationals? Winter Nationals. What's, got, uh, uh, what's some new little things you're, uh, you're adding to the tournament? Uh, I don't know. We got 130 teams planned, so it's going to be good. I know a couple teams are scrambling, trying to get in still. I'm trying to work it out, but i gotta got to have even number divisions, so uh, that's a big thing. Um, it should be good. We've got uh, got some new sponsors, which is always exciting. Oh, watch this one. This one's dirty. Oh. Tidell. It's like a young Ethan right here. Watch. Just... To himself? He just couldn't keep wow. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see he's on D right there. He's like, oh, I, I've been around this guy a few times in the game. It's actually is that a girl? A girl? She, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, pretty good, too. Girl. Well, does she play D or does she play forward? Uh, she didn't play D there. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah. So, you know. But, uh, yeah, no. It's That's a, a, it's a Peter Dale's uh, son? Yeah. Okay. That's uh, They both uh, were in this. Talk about a kid that has uh, the dream life, man. Talking, playing in that farm. Yeah, I know. That's it's that uh, ring, that training facility at his house. I mean, I know that was my dream. Have a full ring in my backyard. He's done a great job too. This one's funny. So this is all. A lot of these slow mo ones are taken with that FS seven hundred uh, Sony. Okay. That that thing's been uh, good through the years. Just shoots slow mo really well. So this is in um, Georgia. Atlanta, yeah. And uh, fun fact about this place: it used to be open to the it used to be open twenty four hours in the day. You know that? Huh? Yeah, John Colt. Shout out John Colt uh, and uh, Larry. This was their home rink. They used to leave the doors open. It's, it's public. They used to leave the doors open. You used, used to go drop in and play hockey 24 hours of the night. Watch this. This is the last second of the game here. This goal. Nice camera work right here, right? But uh, all little, four guys watch the puck. It's a little blurry. Well, it's just all over. <laughs> Just throwing it at the net. Watch his celly though, it's kind of funny. Let's see what he gets. Don't embarrass yourself. Let's see what he gets. Pointing at the goalie? <laughs> <laughs> shooter? Or is he pointing like a, like, like oh, a ref? He's just going, yeah. Or the shooter. You know, either or. No, I don't think that's a shooter. <laughs> so this is a nice throwback here. Sure. Um, I think it's about five minutes long. This is all the highlights from that pro championship. This is what I edited, right? I, I, yeah, you might have done this. this you might have done oh, this. This is mine. Yeah, okay. That's why it's overproduced here. Oh, You'll yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. A little bit too much flashes and stuff, but that was the look then. What do you got here? This is a championship game, right? Yeah, I, pre I appreciate you uh, tanking so you could film that this game. You know, we weren't actually in the championship. Those are, the those are some rough years of my time right there. This was a good game, though. It was a great game. Look how packed that place was. Oh yeah, look at that. Show where the puck's going. <laughs> nice. 
What a team though, right? What is this, uh... Mission, what was her, what was her name? Uh, Axum, or a... No, I think they were already... Were they already next-gen by then? No, I don't think so. I think they were. They were huh? I could be wrong. I don't know. You just said it in the title. On the backhand, I just throw it on net. That kid's we're... ripping it up, right? Yeah. What's his name, Brandon? Yeah. He is. Uh, in the AHL, a lot of guys are. Chris Terry is. Um, who else? The other kid from Buffalo, uh, Conacher. Conacher. Yeah. Good player. Revision, man. They had... Uh, they love San Jose. They won. Remember in 10, they won it with Sigmund and uh, Comrie on that they team. Did. And Junior was on the team. Middleton. Alice. I mean, you name it. There's some good players. And then they won here in 12. Well, I guess spoiler alert right there, huh? But I think it was not go in. Good call. Look at Tommy. Still playing. Still playing Look the same. Brett Martin with the nice no call. <laughs> what a snipe that was. Was that huh? Lee? No, he's wearing a half shield, isn't he? Yeah, that's that's that's. Uh, Loving the flash. <laughs> <laughs> you you like that, huh? Uh, I was not not right now. That was pretty my a little, little, little overused. Tyler Walser now. I think he had a he's got a little girl now too, huh? Probably one or two maybe. Who's that? Tyler. Oh, the coach? No. Oh, uh, Walser. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out if you're watching there, Tyler. Hope things are well. There's a there's a player right there, Burnett. It's a sleeper. It's All right, sleeper. here we go. Overtime, huh? This is one of the best all-time sellies for, for. We had a lot of pro overtimes. It's been great. What a shot! Just, just make yeah. love. Yeah, that was it. Tommy's shook. <laughs> you just can't believe it. We're supposed to win that game, he's thinking. Yeah, he's bummed. He wants to break the stick, but no one knows yeah. he only has one. <clears throat> wow, what a, what a win. That's just a great rink. I mean, R.I.P. Silver Lake, or Silver Creek? No, it's still, it's, they still got the three, but... I, it, they, they got three, or they only have two? I thought they took one rink out. They, they were going to, and it's, it's still three right now. Okay. Yeah. Is there a possibility we go back there anytime soon, or? Uh, looking, looking like I don't know. Okay. It's possible. I mean, we're still doing. You know, we'll do a regional there. Oh, he loves it. Yeah. That, that's tradition. Look at Terry. Padilla was on the team. I didn't see him play. What a win. Beautiful trophy, by the way. Yeah. Still hands down. The Lord Goodwin. Lord Goodwin's Cup is... Uh, who who started that? Um, Georgie Barber. Georgie, for sure. Georgie, Georgie Barber. That, that's a funny kid. Uh, man boobs there. Look like mine. <laughs> Tyler, I talked to Tyler. He's, he seems to be doing pretty well. Some, some good stuff going on with uh, Revision. Yeah, he's always uh, he's actually playing a lot more than yeah. uh, than he was back then. So. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get past this. And Bill. Right. Oh, Lord. Uh... That. Blah 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 blah. Let's move on to the next one. What do we got? Is that Joey D? No, this no. is uh, another just random clip from uh, Watch His Pass. It looks like Joey D. It does a little bit. Merry Christmas! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, if I can guess where this is at. Uh, there's a bar there. Chicago, that's Chicago. a great facility. Wow, yeah, yeah it's, it's cool, man. 
wonder if the music's too loud. Check it. Yeah, it's a little bit loud. A little too rock in here. <laughs> there we go. It's probably a little bit better. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Adam Skills. So were you, when you were this age, were you as good as these kids here? What do we got? No, 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 not at all. I always played on good teams. Like when growing up, I played for, uh, played for Team Dangerous. And if you know, we had, you know, Johnny Kemp, we had Bobby Ryan on our team, and he, they were studs. Um, Catalino. He was a good player. We just had Sherson Unda, TJ Bueno. Um, How many of those guys you still, like, could you call them tomorrow and, and, and catch up with them, or is it only a couple of them? Like, do you still... It, it, I would say more than half. Yeah? Yeah. That's I can awesome. reach out to them in, on Instagram and be like, hey, what's going on? Let's go catch a Kings game or whatever they're into, right? I can go and uh, go join on, on their the things they like to do. So, yes. Yeah, that's the good thing about roller hockey and, and just hockey in general. You know, the relationships you can build and and uh, give up anybody up, you know, so. Like, uh, for, for an example, you know, Jerry is playing, um, you know, was playing for us, and, you know, we, we still keep in touch, and today he, he uh, tagged Walk and I. We went to Spain in 2007, and we went to this, this, uh, this club. It started at... Well, there's a shocker. Yeah, two in the morning. <laughs> it started, like, at one in the morning at midnight. We meet this guy from like this local there. He takes us there, sketchy little place. We go in there, it's a warehouse. They have six different rooms. Every room had a different music genre. It was amazing. Huh, that's but, in uh, Spain? It was in Spain, and so it was pretty cool. But, so he tagged, uh, he tagged us because one of the songs that came on was playing in the car, and he was bumping to it. It was pretty funny. That is so funny. shout out to Jerry. That's our boy right there. He'll probably be in this somewhere. Yeah. So these kids, it's, it's just it's crazy to me. Like this, this video is only a few years old, but like all these guys are, these little guys and girls are now, I don't know, 11, 12, 10, 11? They're eight and under here? This might even be, this was 15, I think it was 15. All right, let me see here. Maybe I'll move on from this. That's Adam Skills. Look at this little Sully. Oh yeah, he owns it. Here it is, wait for it. Got him. Yes. <laughs> good stuff. I love Jermaine, man. It's probably my... I've got such good memories from that place. For sure. This is unlucky. Went off his forehead? Where did that go? Yeah, it went, it went off his <laughs> body. That was Winter Nationals a couple of years ago in San Jose. That's, that's, a, that's a Monday post. Not having your coffee either. These just bad goals, it looks like. Um, I don't even know what this is. Uh, a little Charlie move? There's Rylan on the so, right end of a Charlie. That's funny, that's a Charlie move. Or I feel like it came from San Diego. Yeah, it did. This guy, uh, it, it was Mitch. Hosers. Was it Mitch? No, a guy named... Well, I showed them how to do it. Right. So I played with Charlie on the Hosers in the 90s, and Charlie was just a machine at doing it. And then we'd start doing it, so... I still do that move. Every, yeah, day. it works so good. It works works in ice as well. Um, it's Chucky. Chucky Slick, a couple goals here. Yeah, Chucky Slick. Uh, I think he's back, back in town, yeah. He's back in town or no? Yeah, he's down in... He's a ways from here. We really don't... Uh, I never see him unless I see him at like Joe Norris's rink or something like that on rare occasion, but he can score some goals. He can guy. score. He's a, he's a goal scorer for sure. Yeah. Well, he scored on us right there. It's yeah. fun playing against him. Yeah, for sure. He's in uh, he's in Spain. He's taking advantage of that. He's in Mallorca um, playing out there. He's been doing that a while, huh? He's been doing that for a while, yeah. But he's, he's really taking advantage of it. Like, he's he's inviting his family out there. His brothers are going out there to visit him. He's really doing it right. It's a beautiful spot out there anyway. Yeah, he loves He's a world traveler. You know what? He does uh, does a lot of charity stuff, too, which is cool. Yeah, like Guatemala. Uh, that Guatemala yeah. trip he's doing. Super. He's a funny kid, man. 
Great guy. What do you got here, little guys? Yeah, more uh, some some snipes so for the little eye, guys. Eye blocker or glove? No, the kids are always going glove, huh? <laughs> this is uh, probably a huge championship, I'm guessing. Maybe t t maybe tens. I don't know. This is a this is a big goal, and uh, Farm Tough came out to Irvine for an arch finals, playing the Outcast here. I think this is overtime playoff game, if I remember right. Probably the semifinal. What a goal. It's no angle. That's a nice rink. I, I, oh, Irvine's great. Irvine's great. It's just, I. for those of you that haven't been out there, you should come out this summer for sure. So that's another thing to talk about. We uh, we swapped the dates, so we're doing East Coast in uh, doing East Coast in June and, and West Coast in July, and I've got that deal still where, you know, want teams to play both, so it's two for one. You can, you can play in both events for one entry fee, which is, you know, except for pro, because we're giving money away, but other than that. How's, how's that going for uh, the pro? What are, you, what are you doing this year? I don't know, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know yet. My my initial thought was, this is Detroit regional footage again. Roadrunners always go out there and kind of clean house playing four divisions. Coyotes. So obviously we're going to Detroit for uh, for East Coast Finals. So hopefully we'll get a lot of the hopefully the Dumars Regional will be great and everyone will be pumped up that we're going to Detroit for the first time. You like that facility, right? I do. Yeah, I do like that facility. They're actually starting a pro league, right? They're trying to start it by next year or something or 2020. Did you hear about that? I heard about it. I, I you know I believe it when I see it. Right. I mean, anybody can do anything like that to help the sport. I'm a supporter of it, but I'm also a little bit uh, skeptical as well. I feel like I've seen this. What? Hmm. That other clip must have been in the first uh, one of the early Large videos. basketball coming soon or what? Yeah. <laughs> There's Darren giving back to the kids right there. It's a fun time there at uh, Joe Dumars. Yeah, it is. I know I catch a few basketball games when, uh, when I'm there between games. Those guys ball, man. Oh, uh, yeah. What do we got here? This is just a nice save. I mean, as you can see, like, by these highlights in Detroit, like, the hockey's just so good. It's still probably the toughest regional to win. Even though it's not as big as it used to be, it, it's just, the talent's just so deep there. Nice save. You see uh, Tyler Spezia make his uh, AHL? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, you know, he's doing a really good job with, uh, you know, Advertising the roller hockey is uh, roller dad, buddy. Roller dad, yeah. Roller dad. Those guys are—they're uh, doing a great job on their content, man. They're on they're, it. They're sharing everything. They're doing the European. They're doing America. America. They're doing everything. Everything that's uh, relevant at the time. They're—they're they're supporting it. Yeah, I'm supporting them too. Uh, Woodsy out of Colorado is the guy kind of behind that. He's coming out to Winter Nationals to just you know cover it, hang out, and I guess he'll probably play too. But. Uh, they just wanna they wanna grow the sport, so they're in it for the right reasons. What a great cool. name, huh? Just roller dad. Yeah, all the boys love that. Like just yeah. being a roller dad right now. Yeah. I got a lot of Detroit footage here. Where am I at here? Let's see if we can get something else. So, um What do you got? You know, uh I don't know. You wanna talk about sponsors? I got uh I switched things up for a jersey sponsor this year. I'm going with uh, Stephen Campbell, started Unify. Okay. So he's Shout gonna out be to my Stephen. Stephen, yeah, Stephen you if you're watching, he uh, I mean he's just he's done such a good job designing jerseys for everybody over the last probably almost decade. Well it's about time he just steps in and does it for himself. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he knows how to do it. So he, he just he's got a, a good source, you know, he can turn them around um, in two to three weeks and just reliable, you know it's gonna be good quality. He's gonna set up at Winter Nationals and just probably you know, show people what he can do design-wise and stuff and, okay. and be interactive. So he should get some business out of it, I hope. This is, uh, that kid flies. That kid, that kid could fly. I raced him in uh, <laughs> Columbia when I did a camp back in the day. How'd that go? Oh, I beat him, but again, I think after that, Oof. he had a chip on his shoulder. And uh, now he, that kid can fly. Yeah. 
Yeah, my money's on him now. Oh, oh, for sure. for sure. I might just pull, pull a growing again. You know what? You were fast, so it, uh, you still got it once you get going. You uh, you did fast as skater in uh, West Coast, and you almost won. Yeah, it's the one thing where just, you know, I don't skate like that anymore. So, you know, pulling my growing would just be, and I've done it you know, yeah. at, your, at your tournament. So, it's no fun. I think you make another appearance in this video. I think you're on the wrong side of it, though. Am I? Look at that. Just the, what yeah. do they call the benders or the? A little bit of lumber being thrown around here. Oh, you love those jerseys, huh? Uh. Look at that. What am I doing there? Oh. Make the easy play. But I'll take you. The you almost went down yeah. hard and weird into that. Those were my bigger days. This is a. Like what's what's in your mind when you're coming? To, like this moves crazy here. Let's see if I can get this over. This is a. You know, Tommy. This George Barber. Really? He came at me one time at West Virginia and he's like, hey, check out this new move. I don't know what. Have you, have, like, do you pull it off sometimes? Here, I'm gonna back it up to see it again. Not in a game. Um, I, I still don't play enough hockey to, to pull it off in a game. But, uh, yeah, I've scored, like, you know, little, little random shootouts. Just, just to be able to do that, it's pretty sick. We're just, you know, the whole. The whole thing behind these moves is just showing people how creative you can get and what you can do in the sport. Like, nobody's ever going to think of that. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, right on the goal line. Your, bro goal your line. brother's your brother's right there. <laughs> Pulling a Darren Goodwin angle. <laughs> Look, I'm getting into it. It'll walk. <laughs> He's so funny. He's doing well, right? He is doing well. He's, uh... He's in the production world. With grip, and then he's also uh, he's flipping houses. He's flipping uh, mobile homes. Mobile homes? Yeah. Hmm. It's a good business in there. So. Interesting. What is this? This is you again. Twenty-four. Pulled a few things. This was a silly bounce. Watch this. Do you have anybody open? I can do the Charlie right there for Jerry, but. He had four guys though. Three, three, three guys in a goal after the point. Crossbar, glass, <laughs> off the back, and in. Come on, it's just silly. That was uh, Winter Nationals. What three years ago? Pretty sure three years ago. That's when we jumped on with Ribeiro. They. Uh... They really wanted us to push the pros. This kid, this kid will probably be playing pro this weekend or uh, in winners. What's his name? Jaden Guzman. Oh, he's playing on our team. Oh, is he? Yeah, we picked him up. How? Are you sure? Because Rebels cool. got a team in pro. Do they? Yeah. I think he's on our roster. Yeah. He played with us at uh, one of the tournaments recently. He's good. He's really good. Is this uh, skills from Irvine this summer? Is that Michael? Who is that? No, I don't think it is. That's the next upcoming. Him and Joey, and mo most of those Roadrunner kids, right? But yeah, the kids that are just joining or jumping into the pro division. That kid is uh, the next kid. Yeah, I don't know what I got going music wise here right now, but whatever. Hopefully. It yeah, I played with them at uh, Give Blood. We put a team together there and. Jaden did? Yeah, yeah Jaden hopped on uh, Rink Rat. Yeah, he's a good little player. He's just got to get a little bit stronger, but he flies. Yeah, he does just fly. silly. Who's that, Max? No, he wears the bubble, right? Who is that? Midget Magic? This is... I don't even know why I pulled this and put it in there. It's like the... Uh, Poor Camograph. They were like the uh, Washington Generals this tournament. Like, yeah. just the whipping boys. They should have played Platinum. Men's Platinum. There's yeah, no... but again, I mean, how are you going to get better if you don't you don't try to play uh, well, You're not going to get better boys. getting Mercy Rule every game, either. It's hard, though. I mean, most yeah. of these teams that, you know, they, they just put players together that can play, right? Yeah. So they're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not playing consistently, and a lot of them don't really know how to play with each other. Yeah. If they get lucky and chemistry happens at tournament, then it happens. But yeah, it's tough. It's tough playing against you know. That was pretty cool. That uh, Black Eyes came that tournament. Yeah. No. They that was uh, strong. That made the tournament. And they picked up some local kids. 
the show. Like he can shoot. Yeah. They don't have any weaknesses. Oh, Legula's here too, huh? Yeah, I posted this uh, yesterday, the day before. Who's that, Walters? Jeez. No, that's, uh, what's his name? He's always getting under everyone's skin. Um, that was Walters, is it? No. That's, not, that's Zach Walters, number nine. Is it? Yeah, it Are is. you sure? Or number ten. Oh, I didn't even, I thought it was... Uh, oh, no, that's not him. Yeah, no, that's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Olinger, Parker, right? Olinger, isn't no, it? Not Olinger. Olinger is a lefty. It's oh. either Parker. Okay. Yeah, I was going back and forth with uh, with legs. He's one of my favorite guys in the sport. You know, he's got, I didn't even realize it, four brothers, they all played Narch. So, kind of cool, huh? That yeah, is pretty cool. Look at this, show boating. Yeah. 30 a, and over. Here's a great pass. Well, let's talk about 30 and over, huh? Here you go, Eddie. Here's a nice tap in for you, Eddie. Never mind. <laughs> if you could have. Uh, it's all fun here. Yeah. Yeah, just ask. Just ask Ed. That is wide open. What do we got here? <laughs> Toronto. Feel! <laughs> it's another one of my favorite places. These guys from Quebec have been coming for a while. You didn't go to this one, huh? No, I don't have, I've been going to the East Coast ones. The ones in my backyard. This was, uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we had fun with that. Jason Monroe, I think he had more fun doing that stuff than him and Caden. The were, live stream? The live yeah. stream was good, that tournament. Yeah. Are we doing live stream uh, this year, coming up 2019? Irvine's going to be tough to pull off, but uh, hopefully, hopefully Detroit. Well, nowadays you can go live on YouTube or go live on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah. And connect Man, real this quick. music is bugging me. Hold on here. Hey, man, I thought you had some good gems. Uh, you know what? I do, but like I said, I had to pull some stuff that's. Uh, move. Yeah, this is just terrible. It's EDM. Uh... All right. I just don't want to put something on that's going to. Uh... It's going to uh, get us kicked off, get our audio kicked off. So what do we got? This is just regional stuff. Um, I'll tell you what. Now that we've got this concept under uh, under control, I will dig a little further, find some good footage, and have a little bit more of a game plan. I just wanted to test this concept more than anything else and see if it's a format that people enjoy and if it's worth worth doing. Yeah, of course. Let me uh, can we pause it. We can. Uh, we can go back to us. We can go back to us bigger. Back to us. And and chat it up a little bit. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. Shout out to my son Caden for getting all this uh, lined up for us and Techie. dialed in to be able to do it. Yeah, he's like... Dit, 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 dit. a good one. Yeah, that's cool. So, um... Yeah, so what's your what's your plan with the coffee business? Like, what's your, your in-game goal here? Oh, yeah. So, just the... Uh, there's just a, a community. There's just a cool environment there um, that I enjoy. It's, it's, it kind of reminds me of the hockey, the roller hockey industry. It's, it's, a, it's a tight community. So, for an example, when we go to these tournaments, I know everybody, everybody knows me. When I go to these coffee events, nobody knows who I am. I'm, I'm like the outsider looking in, right? I see the little clicks, I see the baristas, I see the roasters. But again, everybody, and it's pretty cool just to try different roasters and see how how into people are like the science of it yeah right i mean everybody knows about just you know going home and just putting on your you know coffee pot folders and, and folders and hooking <laughs> it up right yeah. um so so when people try to get like you know really into it and they start doing like the pour overs the french press um there's a, even a new one called a siphon it's actually the oldest brewing w way to uh, the oldest method of brewing coffee it, it's the craziest thing it, it looks like a, like a science science project but um yeah, it's just the just the just the community and the the just the different type of beans that you can taste. Like the, I'm I'm like a, a black coffee drinker now, so like now I'm try, trying like the Honduras, the the Brazilian, the Colombian, Ethiopian. So like I'm trying all these. You different... tried the monkey poop one yet or no? No, I need to try that one. But when I do, when I do, I will. I will definitely. Uh, I would. Have, I'm gonna show that. I'm gonna either go live or something or. 
let the people know, but I saw a video of a, of a pro skateboarder, Nigel Houston. He tried it with two chains. They kind of like, they're, they're doing the segment on, on YouTube where they're trying like the most expensive hamburger, the most expensive coffee. Um, and I guess it's like, it literally is $50 a drink any place you want to go to but he tried one and then he tried the the monkey poop one and the guy asked him if there was any difference and he said no okay so that kind of turned me i'm like all right so it might just be one of these little things where like the coffee industry it's kind of like a joke like yeah. it's a joke and they're able just to make it exclusive but it really is just yeah just like normal or just like another uh tasting type of coffee yeah there's stuff like that like there's caviar the, like i i'm caviar. not yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like yeah i've had it i had it at a christmas party it's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly so but yeah but, but behind the, the whole travel wall coffee thing uh it's basically just trying to go mobile with it like I, I know the big thing right now is all these new coffee shops in la are popping up and they're becoming these like trendy type of places where you can go have your wi-fi it's like the new bar yeah like, like when you're you go to your favorite bartender because you know they know your drink or they just have a good conversation that's the morning vibe that I'm getting with the coffee industry. That I'm going to these new coffee shops with uh, with pool tables. I uh, haven't found one with darts yet, but um, just with different types of styles and uh, and cultures. So, well, you know what's cool for me is to see you light up talking about it. Like you it's can great. tell no, it's you're great. real passionate about it, and uh, you know I, I know from knowing you for as long as I have, when you're excited about something, you put your mind to it, you, you oh. accomplish it. So yeah. I think you're. Uh, yeah, you just got. You don't become uh, too successful in the coffee world that you don't want to come play in Arch. Yeah, right. You'll, you'll be seeing. Uh, <laughs> you'll be seeing the travel wild coffee truck at the tournaments and uh, stuff. And yeah, that, and that's the goal. You know, the goal is to to bring that back to our back to our environment, to the hockey culture, and uh, educate some. You know, educate the hockey players of different type of uh, methods of brewing. But the whole thing of it was just finding a new passion. You know, at one one moment of my time. Um, I was just having a rough patch, didn't know what to do after I stopped playing hockey professionally. I was basically trying trying to find my way, and there's just going through a bunch of trials in my life. And, yeah. Um, just wasn't focused. I was, you know, it was really, uh, I was really just over it. Just a lot of, just like the mentality, I just didn't give a shit, like, about anything. Um, and and that's, that's a real thing. Um, you know, it could be depression if you want to call it, or, or anything like that, uh, but yeah, I finally found something that uh, you know I'm passionate about. And I want to learn more about, and it was coffee. So that's why that's why I'm, I'm excited about it. Cause right now I'm turning a new leaf and not drinking right now because I was doing that when I was you know pretty much depressed and just kind of like just feeling you know just kind of forgetting things. Wanted to feel numb at the time. So. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, just like being real and stuff. Uh, well, and Candace probably helped you out too. Like you got a great girl. She's, and, she's on uh, my back all the time. Yeah. But yeah. She's on my back and she's, you know, she knows what type of person I am sober. Yeah. And she loves that person. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if I'm going to be with her and, and that's the one I'm going to pick, which I am, uh, you know, give her, give her what she wants. Give, yeah. her, give her the real me instead of the, the entertainer trying to please everybody when I'm drinking and trying to be, you yeah. know, not myself. Oh naughty! Oh naughty! <laughs> you know it's funny that when I started the face, those two Facebooks, having the, my the hockey one, I call it, um, Ifo and Daniel Shavira, and then having Itano and Naughty for like, I guess just my closer friends. Yeah. You know? Yeah. More like the. I lost. I lost that password. No, that was Oh naughty. That was Oh naughty Facebook. So I'm glad I lost the password to that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's funny. Uh, I, I know it. If you want to log back in there, you know. No, I'm, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. <laughs> but um, yeah, the the coffee industry. I, I'm gonna say uh, yeah, it's probably a little bit more passion. And again, you know, um, stopped playing a little bit of hockey for a little bit. I was going through that little that little thing where I was kind of being uh, resentful for the the hockey industry. And I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And um, well, do you feel like, I mean, you had so much success at one point and then, you know, everything kind of became harder. I mean, do you have, like, if you had to do over again, because there was a time I remember, um, in fact, when we, when you started working for an arch a little bit, um, you, you know, there, there was a point you had a little bit of a chip on your shoulders, like, ah, I'm not going to do this. I can go to, I can go to Mexico and make 500 bucks in a weekend doing a clinic or, right, right, right. you know, and, and I remember when I was trying to, to, to help you out a little bit and, and. You know, because at that time it seemed like you wanted to make a living in the sport, and you, you know it seemed like, yeah, that's great when you can do that, but you can't you can't think that every weekend I'm going to go do a clinic and make a ton of money because right, of right. who I am. And uh, 
So it was, you know, I think you learn that on your own, and uh, it's good to see you come out on the on the other side and be doing as well as you're doing. Well, the the approach I'm taking now for roller hockey is just having a good time, yeah. find a good group of guys that to play with the pro team, the rink rat, the tricksters. Um, it's our team. It's my brothers and I. It's our team, and you know we just lost a junior, but you know he went to uh, the Golden Knights for his own reasons. But um, yeah, I mean we're all still friends, but. We we started the trickster, the Ribeiro and the trickster movement right after Palma because we just didn't like the way um, the team was being run, ran by, um, you know. So we wanted to do it our own way. But at that time too, that transition was really weird too. I, that's when I was like over the, the game of hockey. Yeah. So I stopped playing. Um, and so now that I'm jumped back into it, again, it's just. I always want to put all the BS aside and just go out there and play with players that I want to play with. Like, you know, we, we picked up uh, Taylor Kane, this tournament coming up. Oh, nice. You know? So it's like, it's nice to play with with good players and friends again and just enjoy just enjoy the tournament again and just bring it back to where, where it all started for the mm-hmm. love of the game, you know, so. Well, selfishly, I would like to see you, you know, I know you're pursuing this coffee career, but... Um, you know, especially in, in the mindset that you're in right now, like you could be a big asset to the sport because kids still, you know, they love how you play. They love the guy you are. They, you know, all the parents love how you communicate with the kids. You obviously know the sport. So, you know, there's a lot of, one of the, the things that I've been trying to focus on a little bit is, is trying to motivate, you know, the, the, the younger version of you, the kids that are, you know, just now hitting 2021 20, and try to get them to realize like, look, you do it right you can make a living in the sport but it, it's tough you know you gotta you gotta be focused you gotta be you know have your act together be entrepreneurial um you know understand how things work and uh you know i we need the sport needs some young guys to start some clubs and to get more more parents behind them okay. and, and kind of build that next level of excitement at least in my opinion i, what, I, I know what? it would help us well, yeah. I mean, you're you're running the tournaments. You see, you see the numbers, so you understand if the numbers are dropping and the interest is still there or not there. Um, it's yeah. it's so funny how it's it's such a regional. People ask me all the time: Is the sport growing? Is it shrinking? And you know, I mean, and some markets are brutal, um, yeah. but the markets that are that it's not going that well. That's the problem: is there's not anyone putting any energy into it. And then you know, you come out to Southern California; it's, it's still you know, it's been the mecca of the sport since the 90s, and it, and it still is. I mean, we've got 130-some teams and on a big ice hockey weekend in January. Right. You know, right. I mean, that, that says something, that the sport's still pretty damn strong. But then you go to markets like, you know, that's what kills me about, say, Florida. You know, we would, we're probably going to end up going back to Jermaine Arena here sooner than later. But, you know, I'm, I'm nervous because, like, where are the base of Florida teams going to come from? You know, and, and there's no more rinks out there, right? Didn't well, you think? still have the stadium ones? there, which okay. is you know, and you've you've still got a couple places to play. You're right; uh, some of the rinks went under, but you know, I'm hoping that uh, that guys like Ernie, you know, now Ernie's got a couple of kids uh, motoring around, and you know, he's the type of guy that can motivate other people. And, right, he has a big name in that in that town. Yeah, so I'm hoping that he's you know, if we if we do go back there, he's an asset for us to try to. To get uh, get people off the ice to play and and try to help build it up a little bit, but um, yeah, we need we need more uh, younger Ethans out there doing stuff. Well, again, um, you're a prime example as well because you just started that San Diego thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm having fun, and that's that's something that we can probably. I mean, you're just giving back, and that and that's good to see. I'm sure everybody that is watching or or just seeing your your uh, your path with the San Diego thing, it's. It's cool, it, it, you know. This is your hometown, so yeah. you're, you're trying to you're trying to keep the sport alive down here. Well, yeah, and Escondido. I mean, it's you know, for those of you that have been there um, or haven't been there, it's it's similar to Irvine. It's two rinks. Um, it, it just it it feels good. It feels like California roller hockey. Right. And uh, it it just it was ran by volunteers, and like often happens, is you know, kids get older, volunteers kind of lose interest, and and. Um, you know, uh, Jean, who was running it for, for a while, just because if she didn't, no one was going to do it. I just thought, all right, the opportunity's there for someone else to take it over, and I've got the passion. So, and, you know, when I'm not doing NARCH, I've got some free time in an off season. Right. So, yeah, in just, you know, three, four months, put some energy into it. We've got a, 
you know, had some help from the Ducks with their, their you know, That's piggybacking great. their right. learn to play. And uh, we've got, I've got probably 30 or 40 kids playing that didn't even, couldn't, that never skated three, four months ago. That's awesome. And all, and all the parents, you know, I they don't even know that I run Narch or what I really do. Because at this yeah. point, it doesn't, you know, the two worlds don't even need to, you know, we just need to get them skating. We'll meet up uh, one day. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, I'll introduce them to it, but... Uh, it's just about, you know, supporting the sport. Supporting the sport. Yeah. Bring back that feeling that well, I had when I first started. Um, we kind of got lucky when, when I started. Walk, Walk had a, a group of friends, um, which are our, my friends as well. But we, we all, we had Patrick Gallagher. Mm-hmm. We had Jerry Osterkamp. We had Joaquin. We had a goalie, a Jeff Davis. We had Patrick's brothers, Jimmy and Danny. So we had another goalie. We had two goalies. Um, and then we just had some local kids there. But at the end of, at the, end of the day, we had always had pickup games in the street and stuff. So we always had people to play with. We always had ways to challenge ourselves and get better. It was always competitive. Yeah. Cool thing about it was four of those players out of, you know, seven, we, uh, we played pro hockey, pro roller hockey together. Yeah. Um, for the Palm of Cyclones, right? So that was a pretty cool thing to be able to grow Start in a neighborhood. Start, start, start in a neighborhood, neighborhood and get to the highest level, the highest level and succeed at the highest level. Yeah, for sure. And it was cool because you know how we got started. It was a neighbor came over. We were playing, I think we are playing baseball or football on the street. And they, our neighbor came up to us and gave us a flyer. He said, hey, there's a new rink that just opened. They're, uh, they're having leagues if you guys want to play. Don't know if this guy knew somebody that that played hockey or just picked up a flyer at, you know local local spots so uh very random but um maybe just looking out for uh the neighborhood kids and it, that's how it happens i mean i i got into ice hockey at the age of six from my soccer team okay same thing same you know thing. i played soccer with these guys and and uh, a couple of mom you know mom talked to my mom's like hey you should try try to play ice hockey and that's how it uh i have a question what do you, why do you think our sport's so addicting like, cause when you're in it, when you're in the trenches, you're in it. Like when you, when you're, when you're starting to play, is it because it's so challenging? There's so many levels of it. Or skating. It's a fun. Sp- it's just a fun sport. I mean, the the you have a hockey stick in your hand, like you you feel like a little bit of power. <laughs> like what? Well, what's the? I don't know. That's that's kind of. I think it, it's a different thing to different people. But uh, I think the culture of our sport and what we've kind of all created here together. Is something unique and something special, and it's almost like got a uh, a cult like following. Like everybody absolutely loves it that's in it, right. and and that's why you know it's it, that's part of what's kept our sport alive is is all the kids that play ice hockey too. You know their parents are, you know, just pounding it. You know, intentionally or not, it's like all right, well this is this is we're pushing you, and it's so expensive to play and. You know, and there's expectations and everything else, and I can't tell you how many parents that, you know, that are that are cool parents that have kids playing ice. They're like, you know, you know, we we love hockey, but if he had a choice or she had a choice, she'd prefer to play roller hockey over ice hockey. I hear that all the time. I hear it all the time. No, I hear that all yeah. the time. But again, it's just we got to create a platform to the end. It can't just be a dead end, right? It can't just be pro, just pro tournaments at the end. It has to be a type of league that. Maybe you can make a few bucks out of it. Maybe you can uh, make maybe. Oh, you're spitballing. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. It's, uh, trust it, it, me, it's dude. I stay up I, late at night me, thinking man. about all kinds of stuff in the sport. And you know, Narch is Narch is one platform, and it's it's been a very successful one, and it's been the pinnacle, and you know, and it still is. And you you win Narch, there's nothing like it, and and that's the one thing that I've brought to the sport that I, you know, I, I had the torch kind of passed to me from, from Paul Chapey back in, you know, I mean, basically I took over an arch in 02 and, you know, added the silver division and changed some things that I thought needed to be changed to, to kind of grow, grow the brand, which we did, um, and expanded. So it, it became more inclusive because it, you remember the stories back in the day, like, you had to finish first or second to even get invited to the Narch Finals. Like if you didn't, right. if you didn't win a qualifier, right. I mean, I coached a team in San Diego and yeah. we weren't a great team. Right. That team flew to Oregon just to qualify just to, to be able to come to the finals. So um, you know, that's and, a good step that I remember. Yeah, that's that's 
Yeah. That's good competition. Well, and we, you know, and we built it, we, we built it right. Like it starts with the, the elite player and, and what's kind of unique now about just the world we live in is, is that, that type of thinking and mentality and, you know, um, being at the pinnacle, it just, our society, it doesn't allow it anymore. No. I mean, no. now it's like, what do you mean you're not giving away, you know, how come we're not getting medals when we're fourth out of five teams or whatever? And, right. and I've had to change my business, and I, and I get it. I had kids at the same time. I used right. to be a little bit, uh, um, probably a little bit more, um, I don't know how to say it, brash with the concept of, look, you, you either win or you work hard to eventually win. And that's just how it is. Like, you you know, this isn't this isn't a training wheel thing, no, you know. No, no. You're going to get mercy rolled. And, you know, next tournament, maybe you won't get mercy rolled. And that's just part of it. Everyone's going to take their lumps. And now, if a team plays and they get killed, even if it's the first tournament they ever played, it's like, oh, this isn't for us. We can't compete here. And right, it's, that's uh, hard. It's, uh, it's, ju- it's just a different... You know, I don't want to sound like an old man. I already, I guess I already have, but, uh, you know, it's just different mentality, but it is what it is. It's, uh, it's how it is. Um, yeah, well, you want to go play darts next door or you want to, you want to keep rapping a little bit? I mean, again, we could talk about all kinds of stuff. All types of things. I mean, it's, uh, we have like live comments or something where people can, I don't know. I got to figure out this format a little bit more. I think it's it's, a good uh, concept. I mean, you can grab, you know. We'll, we'll do Players some... Players in the industry, coaches, sponsors, everybody. Um, and I'll get better. I don't want to say better footage. I thought some of the stuff we showed was pretty cool. But um, I'll have more of a game plan. I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, first to be able to get on live and be able to even to do it. But I think it's a format that's got legs. I mean, you know, I got a janky setup here. We need to... Uh, I don't want to say janky. I mean, these are... Some, well, yeah, uh, cameras and stuff. But, dollar cameras and stuff. But, but you know what I'm saying. I, I need to uh, get a little bit more... Uh, filmed a few times on that. Yeah, you filmed more than a few times on that. You yeah. love that little camera. I think you had a second one, right? Remember one sometime? Or one one time, this camera just broke. Some Somebody... You walked into the war room, and nobody told you what happened. And uh, it was like, just not working. And everybody's like looking at each other, like. Are you coming clean now? Who's gonna tell? No, no, it wasn't me, and I'll never, let, I'll never tell. But, but um, yeah, that's your second one, right? I don't one? even know. Yeah. I probably, yeah, I think I've had two of those. That's okay. a good camera, though. Yeah, no, it's it's good. So, um, yeah, I guess we can talk about sponsors a little bit more. Uh, obviously, uh, Conix has been killing it. Um, you know, Nick's done a great job with that brand. He's got. Kilo Bearings is a sponsor now as well. Um, Kilo? Yeah. Have you tried those? It's, it's I, did, a, I did a commercial for them. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm we're gonna, we're, we're skating and then uh, we're walking by certain people and we go, Hilo. <laughs> oh, brother. Hilo. And then at the very end, this guy comes in. You pulling my leg right now? I swear. I got it out here. Okay. No, I I'm believe saying, you. No, no. But no, no, I'm, I'm talking about a different brand. Oh. Yeah, it's not the actual uh, bearing company. Bearing, yeah. Bearing company? Yeah. No, there's another company out there. It's called Hilo with the vape pens. Oh, got it. And the whole concept was uh, saying Hilo to everybody. Oh, I did see that, actually. See that? I did yeah. see that. And at yeah. the very end, like, the chick walks up to the guy at the bar. And she goes, hello. Oh. So it was kind of stupid. But anyway, it was a little, little pain gig. But well, cool. Tell me more about Hilo. What's uh? You know, I, from what I understand, it's just where, they, where do they come from? They're doing out California, Canada. They've they've been around for a long time. It's it's uh, you know, but they're going under the uh, the Conix brand. I guess everyone loves bearings. Um, a lot of companies are making good bearings, but um, you know, they seem to have. I think Nick sold quite a quite a few bearings uh, over the summer from, at our event, so people seem to like them. You know, Lebate has always done good stuff. You know, they're they're. Uh, I don't. I don't exactly know how you get Swiss bearings that are made in uh, in Lake Elsinore, but <laughs> that's funny. But uh, you know, uh, Labeda's yeah. always killed it with it. Their, their wills are wills are great. Um, again, I'm excited to meet up with Rob. I'm sure that uh, you know. I think they've kind of had the, the the concept of you know they've had such good products. Like if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, everything's everything's going well. Obviously, they branched out to do the uh the gloves and everything else the full line of stuff um i never used any of their sticks or anything did you ever try them when they came out yeah i tried a Lebeda one um ph shout out to ph uh philip nelson he uh i didn't have a stick for one of our monday night games and uh, hit him up and he said yeah i got a stick for you it's Lebeda one and i used uh, actually 
he let me use it, and, and and a couple other people got me some sticks too. So I had a little, I was able to pick. But um, the next day, I used the Lebeda stick on ice, took a slap shot, it broke. Uh-huh. So um, it's still, I think they're still trying to figure out that type, that side of it. But um, yeah, I, that's it, like it had my curve. So that, I mean, I can't complain about that because they they stopped making my curve, um, the Lindstrom, right? So. Uh, I know Lebeda still makes that, so that's kind of. Uh, that's I like cool. that Verbero wouldn't stick. Same thing though. I would go through them. I yeah, went through it. Those they had a problem too for a bit. They were uh, they were breaking a lot as well. Yeah. So yeah, I snapped a few of those. Who knows who where they buy it from? Right, they buy it from the Chinaman or you know buy it. Felt good using it though. Yes. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Cool yeah. looking stick as well. Yeah. R I P uh, Verbero. Are they shelved now? No, they're still. They uh, got bought, so, but they got shelved or no? No, it's it's uh, it's Joe Cook. He's uh, okay. Yeah, he's still. He's basically. I think he's juggling both brands. You know, between Alkali and Verbero. But uh, yeah, he he they purchased that, and I don't. I, I think he's got a new line of stuff coming out. Those those adjust those kid skates are amazing. I don't even know. Yeah, All right, so like with my learn to play, so I'm, I'm looking for skates for uh, my little uh, Candace's little sister Harley. So. I'm in the market, so tell me about it. Yeah, you probably can just grab a pair out of my I'm, garage. I'm gonna do that then. So I, I got, uh, yeah, I bought like twenty some pair for uh, for the learn to skate. Um, actually, RHA helped me out with that, okay. so that was cool. But um, they're adjustable skates, and so Perfect. yeah, you just twist them and and like the toe cap adjusts, so you know you can go through. How durable are they? They're good. Like for beginners, they're okay. they're good. Cool. So um, you know, there's an alkali version and there's a verbero version, and, okay. and for yeah, for, for little kids getting into the sport, they're, they're and, killing it. And if a kid advances and becomes a better skater, can you pimp them out with a new bearing, new wheels, and they're, they're kind of like a... I think once you're ready for... Then you, um, you got to move Yeah, I, I mean, okay. kids could still be... You could have a kid just, you know, wheeling through everyone in the six or eight years. Hey, man, with I, that. I was wheeling around in my roses back in the day when yeah. I first started, man. What, my, all my wheels were going one way, um, and no chassis, pretty much, but... Uh, yeah, man, you can make anything work. Yeah. No. Remember, sure. remember that rule back in the day when uh, I'm sure all the players they used to have that rule if your blade was too thin and it went through the cage, you couldn't play. Uh huh. Yeah. Nobody's doing that these days. No. No way. No, well, but no, no one's. Chance. You know, yeah. No Nobody's one's playing outdoor. Yeah, you're much. playing outdoor with a tennis ball or whatever, and right. you just you grind it down to nothing, and right. uh, yeah, no, for sure. But that's cool. So uh, yeah, new for new. Uh, so that's Verbero or that's Alkali. Verbera Alkali, they are not a sponsor, okay. but they are, Joe's still running the company. I wish they would be a sponsor, but I know he has to answer to uh, to other investors and stuff like that. Otherwise, I'm sure he'd be involved. I do got a new sponsor, but I can't tell you yet. Um, I, I'll Gloves, sticks, wheels. Everything. Well, everything. they're more of an ice brand. Okay. Um, they'll be at Winter Nationals, cool so name. you have to wait. Um, true, it's a cool name. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, oh, wow. Wow. Uh, you just give out a little bit. No, of a... no, I didn't wow. say anything. Okay, okay. But yeah, no, excited about some new stuff. Um, yeah, what else? If I think I know who it is, that then that's really cool. Yeah, it there's is. some big players that are sponsored by them. Yeah. Um, even a roller hockey player. Hmm. Yeah, and he uses their stick, a very long stick too. Yeah. So, and number nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll wrap it up. We'll go next door and play darts again. I, you know, if you guys like this format, let me know. I, I, I'm a big boy. Let me know if you want to see more videos, less videos. Uh, I know I need a backdrop, so don't uh, don't bag on that. We'll figure figure something out. Enjoy your uh, your new year. Uh, like I said, we'll probably try this again. I'll get a little bit uh, deeper into pulling some quality video footage, and we'll get. We'll get you back down here once we get this. Uh, yeah, I think all the little kinks worked out. Get and, the kinks uh, worked out. Maybe get maybe a couple players, and uh, we can kind of just you know, yeah, chit chat around, and maybe get some beers and coffees rolling around. There we go, man. I'll yeah. take a couple espresso shots all day. All right, so cool, man. Good Appreciate stuff. It. I'm glad to be the first one. So uh, yeah, very cool. No, uh, great to have you on. All right, thanks for everybody that was watching. That was uh, that was fun. This is uh. Kaden, come turn this off! <laughs> yeah, right. Stop streaming. All right, what do I do? I hit three here. Good to go. Cheers. Oh, still going. I think stop streaming right there. All right, come on, Masia. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. There you go.